All right, welcome back. Um, in this video, I will be going through the train wheel of the mini train project. Um, as always, I'm going to start with new part and create. Um, in this in this part, um, I'm going to create this piece here and then simply revolve it. We'll add those spokes in and then we'll add the peg, um, this peg on the front. I'm going to start a new sketch on your XY plane. Uh, for this, I'm going to start by using a rectangle from right here that goes up. The height of this rectangle is going to be one inch. That would be this dimension here that says one inch. The thickness of this triangle is going to be 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Alright, so that's right here. At the very top of this, we can go ahead and create a circle from the midpoint. It will snap to the center there for you. Um, I'm going to create another rectangle along the left hand side. That would be this cutout in here. All right, the distance from the bottom of my original triangle, click dimension, the original shape or the distance from the bottom here to the, this first ledge is 0.25. So I'm going to go from the bottom to right here, 0.25. The distance from the bottom to that top ledge is 0.75. So bottom to here, 0.75. And then my thickness there, the middle, right in here, is 0.125. So from here to here, 0.125. All right, so that's my basic shape. I, I am going to trim out this middle here. Things might go purple on you. I'm not going to worry about it because they were originally black. I'm going to do a finished sketch. I'm going to revolve this shape as well as these two shapes. And I'm going to grab this point here as my axes. So I click on my axes, click this edge here, and you can see what it's done. And click OK. Before I move forward though, uh, if I look on here, there are two radiuses, radius 0 0.063, so I'm just going to use my fillet tool, 0 0.063, I'm going to grab this inside edge, this outside edge, this inside edge, and this outside edge, and hit apply. All right? Uh, then I'm going to add this middle circle, this middle circle is a 0.28, so I'm going to add a new sketch here circle off that same center point, 0.28, hit finish sketch, I'm going to click on extrude and just simply cut that out making sure that it does go all the way out. Next up, I'm going to look at this back portion here to create those spokes. I turn my object around my wheel here, I'm going to do a new sketch on the back side. I need essentially two circles. Right? Those two circles are a radius 0.63 and a radius 0.37. So I'm going to create a circle off my center point. Right now my distance again is going all the way across. If I right click and go to radius, now it's only going halfway and I need a radius 0.37 and a radius 0.63. Right? So those are my two radiuses to create this shape in here. The distance between my spokes is 30 degrees. So what I'm going to do is draw a line that goes straight up. I'm going to draw a line that goes to the right. And I'm going to draw another line that goes to the left. Make sure you do not snap it to one of these original lines, right? If you do that, it'll lock things in place and we don't want that. All right, so the distance between my spokes is 30 degrees. So I need this distance here to here to be 15. And the same thing on the right side, from here to here, 15. I'm going to use my trim tool and clear out so that I only have this open space, right? That would be the spoke here. So I'm going to just trim all the way around that space. Again, things have gone to purple, don't worry about it. Um, they were black before we began. So I'm going to finish sketch. Click extrude, click on both of these and simply remove them and hit OK. So that's one spoke, but again, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Easiest way to do that is simply click on that revolve tool. 
right, right up here where it says circle circle pattern. It's asking me for my feature. Right? If I right click continue, it switches to my axes, right? I need it to now select my axes, so I'm gonna click that middle. Notice it spins it around that center. It's already on six and hit okay. All right, so that's the basics of the wheel. Next up, I'm gonna create this spoke, um, this little hub where that linkage arm is gonna connect. It's made by creating a number of circles. So I'm gonna do a new sketch on the inside portion of the wheel, right? Making sure it's right here on the inside. I'm gonna create a circle. Right now your circle is likely still in radius though. Again, you can see my line is only going halfway, so I'm gonna right click, go to diameter, so now it's going all the way across. Uh, that initial circle is 0.25. And the distance from the center of the wheel to the center of that is 0.7. So from here to here, 0.7. It does go into my uh, hub there, but it does not matter because once I hit finish sketch, hit extrude, and I start to bring this out, that extrusion is 0.25. Right? Then I've got two more holes here. New sketch on top of that. I've got another circle from that same center point. The size of this circle is 0.125. I hit finish sketch. The distance this is coming out is also 0.125, so extrude that distance, 0.125. Right. Uh, next up, I need to create this hole that goes down into that same peg. I'm gonna do a new sketch right here. I'm gonna use that same center point here, going out, 0.0625, right, that's right here, 0 0.0625, finish sketch, click on extrude, but I want to remove material and I want to remove it by 0 0.25. And there is the completed train wheel. Thank you.